Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Disgaea PC. Afternoon of Darkness? I don't know. Okay, so, uh, we're going to Virus Castle. It's fairly new, so I don't know much about it. However, it is rumored that a very able man lives there. Hmm. What you gonna do, Prince? Should we take a peek? Definitely. I'll slaughter the master of the castle as the first step to becoming Overlord. Alright, uh, so we can do the tutorial again. Yes, the best. Magnificent Gate. I don't know if there's a story associated. The answer is no. Oh, right, but it's tutorial time. But I might not have to go through it. All right, beautiful. Okay, so we've got a geo panel situation going on over here. So why don't we do this? I want to just actually let's bring let's bring Etna out. She should be strong enough to do this, and we'll just do. She's only level one. Okay, let's let's do it with Laharl then. Apparently, I think the Prinnies might have gotten more experience than her, which is weird and dumb. I keep re redoing or undoing this because I want to get triple strike out. Most of my characters have their special moves, finally. And uh, it's time for that. Okay, so I don't. you guys need to refresh my memory on this one because I honestly can't remember. Is there a way to like make this go by faster in the original version or the PSP version or like any of the other ports? Because I'd swear there was a button you could press to, like, speed past that. But I honestly... It doesn't seem to work that way. Yeah, my printies actually have more experience than Etna. Huh. Alright. Well, let's... Oh, printies cannot lift. Okay, good to know. Well, I guess let's just bring out Etna. And we'll bring out most... Most swords. There we go. And she can't move anymore. I guess I'll just move her out in the prinnies. So the one problem is uh, I want to capitalize on the experience bonus uh, for everybody here, but obviously that's not going to work. Eh, whatever. We don't need it that much, and I can always do grinding on higher level map. And should generally work out pretty smoothly. We can also just grind off of that one person. She's going to die. Well, that kind of ruins the, ruins the effect of most swords. Just getting her killed. Then again, we did learn not to do that in the tutorial. So, I guess I'm just dumb. Maybe Edna will actually get a level here. Maybe she won't successfully kill anything. Son of a bitch. Alright. There's a very real possibility that Laharl will be the only one that actually can do anything in this game. Just putting that out there. At least the slightly higher level printies can actually fight things. So that bit's kind of encouraging. Uh, can you move? Yes. Okay, well, when in doubt, we'll just have a stack of printies that wins the game for us. I need to name them all. Because we already got Grand Slam Man, but that's the extent of it. Yeah, we've got a level 3 printy and a level 1 Etna. This is... Perfect. I always forget in Disgaea games, I believe killing blows are like the main way you get experience. Only way you get experience. Huh. Really should work on that. Alright, whatever. Let's just try not to use Laharl here. Not like it matters that much, but... Eh. Okay, it matters to me just a little bit. Alright, end turn. So hopefully he'll soak most of the hits. There's a lot more guys here than I thought there were going to be. They also seem to have ranged attacks. It'll be pretty sad when I lose this fight. Alright, let's spin this camera around. Let's see, who can we kill? 10 HP. Uh, maybe Impaler will be enough to kill the guy. Come on. Oh. Okay, so why don't we start with... Dandelion. Bring Dandelion out. Attack... Fairy. Mm. Okay. We can have Dandelion come over here. Attack Gremory. We can do Impaler on him. Okay. So this should work. Son of a bitch. Alright. Uh, turns out Dandelion is stronger than Dandelion looks. So Edna hasn't done anything. Edna also only has 3 HP. Edna can probably kill Enigma though. Okay. So let's move these guys out. 
Oh, shit. She literally can't do anything. Alright, that's fine. Let's just try and kill Fairy here with the team attack. Maybe she'll get some experience this way. I think she gets experience for team attacks. Alternatively, they don't kill it. <laughs> oh, man. This is the story of a sad, sad little Wanderbot and his inability to have a team that does anything. Oh, that's okay. Laurel hasn't even attacked it, so I'm not terribly concerned. Poor Etna. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Yeah. No, Laharl can kill everybody. It's not like we're in trouble here, but it is... Uh... Maybe I should give her a gun. Yeah, she's dead. Wow, that guy didn't even... That guy didn't even do damage to one of the prinnies. That's just sad business. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Seeing as the prinnies seem to be doing a better job than, um... The... Normal people. Couldn't you... Throw in, like, diagonal? I swear, I'd swear uh, you can throw diagonally in Disgaea 5. This is probably actually true. Alright. So let's just do some team attacks here. Let's see. Attack Fairy. Attack Azazel. Perfect. I'm just going to keep using and abusing uh, team attacks because they actually have a substantial chance of doing damage to um, enemies here. Unlike the regular attacks. Actually, I think the regular attacks are starting to break the cusp of being damaging. Yeah, we're just gonna have a team of we're just gonna have a team of combat prinnies. Whatever, why not? Let's go get healed. Expensive nonsense. Uh Okay, so seeing as two of our characters died, we should probably buy armor. Uh, so we can get amulet, or we can go for, like, protectors and stuff. Let's do that. Uh, I could get, like, bulletproof vests. Oh, I might want to do that. Um, yeah, okay. Won't boost resistance at all, but at least she'll have a chance of living. Poor Etna. Alright, blessed court. This is a pretty nice place. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Fool, that makes us petty thieves. I can't disgrace the name of the Overlord. I have to be impartial and... Impartial and... what? Plunder everything! Oh, that's our prince! You're so ruthless! Hey there, you atrocious fiend! You cold-blooded monster! <laughs> A demon among demons! Why like complimenting me so much? It's embarrassing! Now listen up! I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle! Aye, aye, dude! Ha! Ha 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 ha! I don't remember the pretty voice acting being that bad. Oh well, it's been some time. Okay, so we've got defense, attacks plus one, anybody in this yellow area. Awesome. Uh, let's see. At least these guys are, like, stupid weak. Okay, so most swords and Etna should be able to kill things here, honestly. I'm gonna be really sad when it turns out that they can't. Oh, Etna can't, because her spear is garbage. Go figure. Well, we could give her a sword. Nope, can't give her anything. We'll give her the quasi-power belt, at the very least. Can I give her the sword? Yeah, I can't give her the sword. Okay, so the reason why Edna's so garbage here, she simply does not have the, um... She simply doesn't have the... the... weapons for it. I've given everybody else equipment, but her. That would do it. Okay. At some point, we'll have, like, a proper, uh, grind zone that I can work with. But for now, this is good enough. Okay, that's the level that we're looking for. Uh, we've got Grand Slam Man. 
and Laharl. Grand Slam Man ain't actually that powerful. Okay, so 29. Now those paw gloves are bad. Then again, that doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, let's just do Triple Strike. Okay, there we go. Yeah, of course you wouldn't get the kill. That's fine. Doesn't really need to. Did you get level a level two? She didn't. Okay. We'll figure that out. Well, that was just dismal. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that to be just so lackluster. She gets a team attack with Laurel. I wonder what the uh I wonder what the bonus is. Like why why it was a 99% there. Maybe it's because he summoned her? I don't know, actually. I should look at, into how team attacks work specifically in this game at some point. Alright. So I'm going to end turn. I don't think any of the enemies are going to come charging forth. Okay. So I'm going to go with the risk of this. That's not going to work. Okay. So I'm going to stick... I have a whole lot of characters with range attacks. Uh, I'm going to stick these two characters here. We'll move Etna up. I wouldn't mind her taking over. But they get extra attacks by standing on this spot. Uh, so it sounds like a good idea to do that. I'll just put Laharl here, just so they don't get surrounded as much. Actually, screw it. Let's do that with uh, this guy, too. There we go. So hopefully everybody will just start charging me at this point. Yep, there we go. Hopefully with the defense bo bonus, my guys will live through this. If they don't, well, whatever. Is it just me or is that pretty? A hell of a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, these printies are... meaty. Okay, so... If I'm not mistaken... Oh, shoot. Yeah, these guys suck. Okay, so we're just gonna bring her over here. There's no way... There's no way she can sit at the top. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. So we got printies of plenty and not a whole lot of counterattacks. Could have Laharl fight Andrew. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll move over here. Okay. There's the level up we're looking for. There's the team attack we want, which should be... Just enough damage to kill him. That was surprisingly low, honestly. Alright. And then we'll do the same thing here. Now, we get extra attacks for being on these panels. I don't actually... Ooh. <laughs> I actually really like the team attack uh, animations. They hold up, even if they're a little goofy. Okay. Move there. He can't move. If I remember right, do spears? Spears do, in fact, have uh, reach in this one. Okay, so we'll hit him, and then we'll hit him again. Okay. As long as they don't stand on the yellow panels, I think we'll be okay. So hopefully Edna can come in with just the butt poke. The answer is no. Dang it. Alright, fine. Oops. Well, is life. Hey, these printies are... Like, one of the things I like about Disgaea is, like, early on in the game, you haven't found, like, your grind spots yet. So, a lot of the places where... Uh, like, a lot of the places where... I can't move him again. Yeah, whatever. A lot of the places where you'd, like, go to grind, um, you know, you don't have them unlocked yet. So your chances of having, like, stupidly overpowered characters drops off really fast. I actually really like that. Because it means... Uh, it, it's almost kind of like an honest... Uh, honest system. Like, the characters aren't strong, nobody's overleveled, nobody has reincarnated ever, so the stats are just completely normal. And I kind of like that in a way, because it means that you have to rely entirely on what you got. Which I think is neat. Okay. I guess we'll just finish the guy off with Laharl. 
Can't do triple strike, that's okay. I don't know. I think that's just my opinion, but like, I actually have to think about what I'm doing here. Which I appreciate. Uh, it does make things a little bit more interesting. Okay, so we definitely need to get Etna a weapon. So let's sell some things too. Like the common sword and the paw gloves. Okay. So we... We could get Etna an axe. So 23 versus... Is it just me or is there a wide discrepancy between swords and otherwise? Alright, fine. Etna gets an axe. Why not? Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Virus Castle, Corridor of Love. Okay, what's up with this one? Uh, see some kind of... The devil? Recovery, 40% to blue spaces. Oh! As long as you're in the water, you get a recovery bonus. I gotcha. Alright, so Edna's level 3, everybody else is level like 2 or 3. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, so why don't we just queue everybody up for crazy team attack combo business? Seems like the best plan. All of Etna and Mo Swords soak the experience. They need it. Mostly Mo Swords. Hence why Laurel's standing directly next to him. Her. It's party time! That was not enough. Well, this is just depressing. End turn! We'll get our uh, HP back in a second. I don't know. I, I actually really like the old style pixel art for this game. Like, it's pretty solid stuff. Alright, so we've got somebody else down in the fountain. I'm gonna send Loharl down to say hi. Actually, let's move down here. Let's do triple strike. Okay, uh, so let's move you here. Oh, special. Hey, you can do blade rush, finally. Looks like you got a uh, attack height problem. Well, never mind. Okay, uh, attack, actually, we'll move him forward at the very least. Let's start with Etna. Let's see if we can kill Coral. I don't think I killed that guy, unfortunately. Well, that's fine. I don't think we get to... Oh, we do get to see this one happen. Does she get the level? They both get the level. Okay, so this does confirm the team attacks still do give shared, shared experience per kill. Well, this is... Something to listen to. And also stupid slow. Alright. See if I can kill Rhett. Yeah, once we have the appropriate levels shoved into everybody, Christ. They're still not dead yet. Uh. Oh, that's okay. I think it might actually keep. Is one of my guys named... Yeah, Dandelion. I think I'm actually going to keep Dandelion as a character. Well... Oh, he can't move back to his position. Alright, that's fine. Okay, we need to get ourselves a healer and a mage. And then I'm actually probably going to cap it off. I don't know. I don't know how many characters I want to cram into this series. Uh, the last time we had a bit of a overinflation. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, so let's have... Laharl well, move over here. Because I believe... A couple of things can happen here. We can move her into the healing waters, which is pretty sweet, and then we can do Blade Rush across. Don't think it's going to kill the guy, but that's fine. Who needs the experience here? Yurin or Etna? Answer, most definitely Etna. It's really sad when your printies are somehow stronger than your main characters. I think that changes now that I've given her, like, a decent axe, but still. Uh, there is definitely some amount of, like, kind of suspectness uh, to the whole uh, pretties actually being 
surprisingly strong in this game. Alright, whatever. Uh, I think that's the extent of it. Oh, right. Well, Harald hasn't done triple strike. Hopefully that kills her. Yep, there she goes. See, Loharl! Oh, right, he's got the, uh, he's got the all-round all stat boost. Okay. So this guy's a little bit more concerning, and we don't need Loharl to have the experience. Let's just do triple strike. Knock him back. And then line up a nice little party combo. 60-70%, but you know what? Every little bit counts. Now she actually does damage. Good. Okay. We'll keep her in the water. Keep, uh, which one of the printies is level 3? I'm being, like, really particular about spreading this out. Because I hate it when people fall behind. That happened in, uh, Disgaea 5. And it was really frustrating. Oh. There we go. Uh, because, like... Hey, it wasn't, like, super frustrating, but there were a number of characters that I probably could have or would have used, and I just never bothered because they just did not keep up. Uh, the maid, specifically, I remember, was particularly useless after a very short period of time. I don't know, she just, she just couldn't keep up. And that was okay too. All right, all uh, right. You. Eh, I'll keep. I'll keep it as such. We want the healing. Let's bring Etna down for the same reason. Not that it matters too much, but this will save on hospital bills, which are very important to me. I am one cheap sucker when it comes to Disgaea games, especially early on. Okay. Let's see. We'll bring her back. I think we can do this. Attack. Blade Rush. Oh, she can't even do Blade Rush. Well, that's fine. So I'm just going to move these guys here. We'll team attack the archer down. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. Spread that love! All that experience. No levels. No levels for anybody. Well, that's fine. Okay. So we've got this guy down here. Laharl's positioning. Okay, let's not do that in retrospect. Let's go after Spear Guy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get out of this without... Uh, with everybody at full health, but I'm still gonna try as much as I can. Can't do that. All right. Well, that's fine. Etna, uh, can you... You can make it here, so at the very least you get a team attack. Potentially? Dang. I really wish, uh, hitting cancel wouldn't cancel all of their actions, just the last one you queued with them. Okay, and you're gonna run away because you're quite injured. At the very least, if nobody's dead, that'll save me the most amount of money. Okay. I don't know. This is working out. I like... A lot of people have been kind of cranky. Oh yeah, let's check this. Can I... Can I do this now? Yes. Map texture. Nope. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Yeah, I'd very much like to be able to have the new map textures on, but boy, do they not want to be on, honestly. It's okay. Oh, uh, whoop. That's the that's the end of what he can do. All right, that's okay. Uh, looks like we've got some kind of mage lady. Well, poor Mo Swords. Ah, uh, Mo Swords lives to see another day. All right. Uh, so we can switch people out, or we could just go. Yeah, let's do that. Worst comes to worst, Laharo kills everything, and I do more grinding. My unquenchable uh, stinginess saves the day yet again. All right, let's see if these three can kill Alex. Or these two. I'll probably reincarnate the Prinnies as other things. Except for maybe, maybe Grand Slam Man, I don't know. Now let's bring you back. Well, 
This did not work exactly how I planned, but that's okay. Uh, target. I'm gonna get a target height problem. I right, there we go. We're gonna keep using and abusing that triple strike. That shit, gold. Does it kill the guy? It kills him. Beautiful. Yeah, I want to take out the the mage, but things were in the way. Okay. Any of you guys particularly uninjured? No. All right. End turn. Most swords, no. And I was trying so hard here. Well, I guess they just they did just volunteer for uh becoming free experience for my units. So I guess it's okay. Let's take out the mage first. Party tax! She didn't die. This is super disappointing. I'm not like that angry. But man, I keep expecting my units to be like 9, 10, 12 times stronger than they are, and then it's just like, no, they are not. And it is sadness. Well, somebody did damage to him. Okay, so you can move. So move you over here, and then you can still attack. There we go. We'll kill them cooperatively. Or not. Kill bonus. And 12 experience. Beautiful. I don't know if uh, the 12 experience counts for everybody, though. Or if it just counts for the living. Interesting question. Claim prize. Muzzle brawn. Yes. Cut my... Oh! Do I have a... I, I had a choice there. No, I got both. Okay. Uh, some Mo Swords, seeing as you are the flimsiest of the entire party. We'll give you the Muscle Brawn. Technically, I could use Muscle Brawn to, uh, scum this a little bit, but that's boring. I swear it made the sound as though we were, like, uh, somebody was leveling up, which would be confusing. Alright, Summon Assembly. Laharl. Laharl's got some more mana. Let's create a new character, and it's going to be a... Cleric, cleric. Oh. There's like zero difference between these two. Okay, there's like a slight amount of stats. So more HP, less attack, more defense, more int. Yes. So we're going with this one. We'll make her incompetent, and we're going to name her... Shit, I don't know. I don't remember what any of my characters were named last time. We're going to go with Potato. Getting a healer in here is probably a good move. And resistance. Done. So now we got a healer. Obviously we need to get... Uh, we need to get our hands on... Uh, we should probably get a skull. Wind magic, fire magic. I'm gonna go with blue skull. Incompetent. And we're gonna name him... Um, uh, skull. Oh, uh, I got it. Bad, bad references. Le Duke. Got him. Alright, and it's going to be intelligence. Interesting, he's got a really, uh, higher resistance than my, um... He's got a much higher resistance than my, uh, cleric does. Weird. Did not expect that. Alright, well, it doesn't matter too much to me. So, I think with that, that's a good stopping point. I could keep going, but I've got so much other uh, other things to record. And, you know, too long of episodes to lose people anyway. So, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Disgaea PC. And at some point, they'll patch this game. Thanks for watching, guys.